Hi, everybody. I'm Chris Primesberger, editor of eWeek. Thanks for joining us today for our latest edition of eWeek eSpeaks, a series of conversations with IT thought leaders around the world. And today we're really going around the world. We're going all the way to Helsinki, Finland, to talk to Heike Nusainen. And Heike is the CTO of Ivan, A I V E N, a company you may not have heard of, but after this, you'll hopefully will have learned about what they do. And Heike, nice to meet you uh, across the world. Nice to meet you, Chris. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm. Uh, uh, really intrigued by Ivan, uh, the company itself, because it's an open source built data platform that uh, stands kind of all by itself out there uh, in the in the world. But first, um, Heike, tell us a little bit about yourself and your background. So indeed, my name is Heike Nausen and I'm a CTO at Ivan. I come from a long, uh, long career of uh, software development and being a, being a user of open source for quite a while. And uh, from that background, uh, it was quite easy for us to uh, start the Ivan company when we wanted to really uh, enable teams to uh, rely on, on some of these great open source technologies in, in building applications and, and uh, solutions. Mm -hmm. I have great respect for the open source community in general, having worked, worked um, as an editor at uh, linux.com and the open source tech group um, um, about 15 years ago and interacting with um, folks like like Linus and Mark Shuttleworth and others uh, gained a lot of respect for the, for people and uh, and you have obviously been able to take that open source technology built you know by uh, by professionals around the world who really, really care about quality software. Um, how have you been able to take uh, some of the open source uh, 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 discipline into building this platform? And why did you decide to build this platform? So uh, first of all, I think open source is just, it's, it's so critically important in every business nowadays. It, it's, it's where the uh, innovation happens and it's the enabler for business agility, being able to try out things and, uh, and move fast. And that's the kind of mission that we took with Ivan, that we want to provide these great open source technologies as a fully or easily consumable services. Uh, sometimes these technologies are a little bit uh, like a, a box of tools. Uh, they might be a little bit difficult to operate or, or uh, require special uh, knowledge. And we might want that just to make it, make it easy, easy and available. So we, we are ourselves, we're great users of Postgres DB, uh, Postgres SQL uh, database, for example, uh, Apache Kafka, uh, um, uh, to name a couple of technologies that we then offer now as a fully managed services for others to consume. Okay, very good. And uh, can you tell me about maybe a couple of your customers who, who uh, uses your platform? How long has um, Ivan been in business? So we, we started the company in 2016, so we are still a fairly new one, but um, it's been, we've, we've been happy to find out that there's a lot of demand for these services. So uh, one of uh, our customers include Comcast, for example, our users of Apache Kafka in a, in a uh, quite uh, demanding uh, environment where they require uh, low latencies for message trans transmissions and we were kind of, kind of able to help their teams to get started with their own, own projects with uh, uh, taking care of one part of that infrastructure. Okay, so messaging and for a company like Comcast, that's got to be a huge, a huge part of their business. And so I'm sure you're quite, quite uh, occupied with a lot of their, a lot of their issues that you're solving. Um, uh, any other customers you can talk about? So we have one interesting uh, energy company coming out from UK, Power Energy, and they are doing interesting things with on top of open source technology. So they are looking at, for example, how to better manage electricity network and, and do two-way electricity transmission or, or smart electric transmission so you can uh, balance load or even uh, kind of enable charging from uh, back and forth uh, from uh, uh, electric uh, or cars, for 
example. That kind of interesting things that have, then have a have an impact, hopefully also on the environment. But it's it's uh, great to be part of being able to enable something like that. Now there's a a whole new project that's come up. Some, something called the Open Source Security Foundation. Is that the name of it? Yes. Open and Source Security Foundation. Can you tell me about what that's about? And uh, huge companies like Microsoft and others are in it, and, and little little Ivan is in it too. So that, I think that's great. Or how many how many employees do you have, like uh, Hakey? So Ivan is about hundred people at the okay. moment. Uh, so so we uh, yes. So we've been following this this uh, uh, foundation. Uh, it's a fairly recent news, and we're very happy to uh, kind of that it's it's been uh, found founders like Microsoft, IBM, um, uh, Google, who have a lot of expertise in information security and managing that. And them realizing that how critical uh, open source is part of their business, but also kind of everything that runs around around us. Uh, and then uh, Android phones, for example, 90% of the, of the market is running on Linux essentially yeah. open source, so so information security is uh, really critical of importance and uh, kind of any vulnerabilities that we maybe find in those core components are then uh, they have a high impact on on everyone's everyday life. Mm -hmm. That's um, why why I see that this is really good uh, uh, progress and really uh, nice to see coming together. Yeah, what is Ivan bringing to the table to this uh, foundation? Because uh, I mean, everybody who joins something like this brings a specialty, pretty much. What what do you, what do you bring to it? Yeah, so uh, we definitely want to be part of these efforts. I see that the the, the foundation, uh, obviously, uh, the the big players, Microsoft, IBM, uh, Google, they 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 are the ones that can really contribute. Uh, resources and expertise on, on a uh, significant level and they can bring uh, knowledge about uh, security tools best practices also uh, of course because of their size and uh, uh, exposure they see a lot of new threats or, or get a lot of intelligence about new threats and new vulnerabilities that are around there mm -hmm. and uh, if they can bring that back to the table for each and every open source or at least the major open source projects to benefit, then that that's that's really great for for everyone. Would would um, um, Ivan be involved in um, uh, helping build tools for the, for this security or um, some other kind of an application or or a process or what? Uh, definitely, we want to share also our uh, our uh, practices and then then contribute in. Uh, uh, commenting and, and utilizing and trying out uh, uh, how how these two, the, uh, things work. So so definitely in an in an open source period, sharing best practices and sharing sharing the, the uh, tools and the uh, best approaches uh, uh, benefits the community as a whole. Yeah, and it's great to see companies like Microsoft who who really shook their head at open source for many years and. Uh, Kind of did their own thing. Were very proprietary, and then and got a change in management there five, six years ago. And it's just great to see a company like that come around and, and embrace open source because all that muscle, all that power, and all that, like you said, all those resources they have, they bring to the table. It's incredible. And um, so uh, I couldn't have imagined this 15 years ago when I was doing Linux.com, but uh, it's so good to see it now and. Um, and you're right in what you said earlier. I mean, everywhere we look, open source has an influence. You know, it's in our phones, it's in our televisions, it's in our cars. It's in so many things we don't even think about. It's just there and it just works. And it's because this whole community uh, really wants to do something valuable that really helps people. That's, that's kind of the the most important motivator behind open source, isn't it? Yes, and it's this. Uh, we see a lot of innovation happening in, in open source. That uh, a lot of the technologies, perhaps uh, that we've seen recently, spin out from uh, commercial companies. But it's it's not not that the companies 
de definitely want to keep them as a secret, but rather if they bring them to the open source, they also get a lot of input and help to drive those uh, forward and kind of maybe uh, at the better pace than they could ever uh, invest uh, only by themselves. So right. I Man, yeah, I mean, development doesn't happen one person at a time, it happens in a team, generally speaking. So, this is great. Okay, Heike and Nusainen, thank you very, very much for joining us on eSpeaks today. And uh, Heike is the CTO of Ivan, A I V E N. And uh, if someone wanted to go and find out more about the company, would it be Ivan.com or .org or what? Ivan.io. .io. Okay, so it's yes. one of those. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thanks for bringing your expertise to us at eSpeaks today. My pleasure. Great Good to meet you. To you. And for everybody following along all the way to the end here, thank you very much and have a great rest of your eWeek. Thanks for joining us on eWeek eSpeaks. Go to eWeek.com to hear more conversations with IT thought leaders. Mm -hmm.